Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch, doing some of the most important work anywhere in Washington. Uh, and a big moment for Washington, you have to say, guiding the international discussion right now. All right, Mr. Fitton, how are you today? Hey, Al, it's good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's great to have you back. So let's talk about, first of all, give me your 30,000-foot view of the latest hysteria du jour, which is that James Comey, uh, Trump asked Comey the, to drop, or he said he hopes Comey will drop the Flynn investigation. And uh, it's just even hard to keep up with the various hysterias uh, that are coming out about the, with the Washington Post story about leaking classified information to the Russians. Is there any there there with any of this? Tom? Well, I don't know. If he uh, said, hey, you need to drop a criminal investigation in a direct fashion, uh, there may be uh, some concerns there. But if, as what I guess is to be the case, what he said was open to interpretation, uh, I think it's going to be a different question. Uh, the fact that Comey took no action um, saying blowing the whistle on what was he, what he was asked to do initially uh, suggests uh, there is some um, uh, misunderstanding potentially between what uh, Mr. Comey understands Mr. Trump to say and what Mr. Trump may have actually said. Uh, but in the end, we need to see what the memos say. We want to see what other Comey memos are out there uh, so the American people can figure out one way or another what went on. You know, I'd recommend Mr. Trump, uh, the president, uh, take a position of extreme transparency and let it all hang out and get it out there as quickly as they can. Okay, so we're in this situation now with where the media is so hysterical all the time that we're not allowed to actually search for answers and to try to get reasonable answers. We have to immediately react, and the reaction seems to be that what the president did is probably impeachable if you're on establishment media. Is it, what do we actually know? Do we know anything that he did that was either illegal or, or in breach of protocol at this point in time? Oh, no, not specifically. I'm not even sure if it was obstruction of justice. Uh, you know, it's the equivalent. At worst, it's the equivalent, and I don't think it is the same thing, but uh, President uh, Obama, you know, said that he didn't think the IRS scandal amounted to much of anything, and uh, he didn't think Hillary did, Clinton did anything wrong. I don't see uh, what the difference would be between what Mr. Trump said and what President Obama actually said to all Americans. Right. So you put out a video, just just a, a brief 45 second video on Judicial Watch. And uh, you send this out an email and you, you write that the Washington or you say that the Washington Post is accusing Trump of leaking or mishandling shared classified information that he shouldn't have. And President Trump says he didn't do anything wrong or illegal. Color us suspicious, but we're aimed to get to the truth one way or another. Do you find that people are sharing your suspicion and your distrust of the establishment press. Are we making any headway, Tom, with what you and I are doing here, or are people still taking the word of the Washington Post as gospel? Oh, no one. I don't think uh, there are many Americans who um, believe the media, just generally speaking. There's great skepticism of the big media, the legacy media, uh, the Washington Post. Um, suggesting that Trump did something improper by uh, talking to the Russian ambassador. Uh, I don't think uh, everyone, uh, as many people are buying as people here in Washington would have you believe. You know, the Washington class is easily spooked. Uh, but the American people tend to see through these things and see uh, the long ball game at play here. And at least with the Washington Post story on what the ambassador was told by President Trump, uh, I don't think it's going to have as much traction uh, as, you know, for instance, memos that Mr. Comey may have written. Uh, but, uh, you know, the president, you know, the position of the left is the president doesn't deserve to be president. He can't exercise the powers of the president. He's not allowed to talk to the FBI director. He's not allowed to fire the FBI director. He's not allowed to talk to the foreign heads of foreign government. He's not allowed to talk about information that in his discretion uh, he has a right to share as president with foreign leaders. Uh, he's not allowed to issue executive orders related to immigration, uh, but other presidents can, but he can't. And because he's not supposed to be the president, we oppose him, the left thinks, and therefore anything he does is necessarily wrong and immoral. 
and uh, and subject to impeachment. And that's been the theme of the Washington Post reporting. You see this, you know, the, the kind of craze talk about impeachment that didn't begin just with the Comey memo, began months ago. Uh, and um, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it is hysteria at a level unlike anything we've ever seen in the past. And the double standard is just so incredible that you cannot even believe that the media is getting away with this. I mean, no one's mentioning that Barack Obama gave uh, intelligence to the Russians because that was acceptable when Obama did it. Uh, Of course, we don't talk about the various Hillary Clinton scandals with her selling off pieces of the United States government to the Russians for her own personal enrichment. Uh, these things are, are don't come up. It's a, but you get this Trump-Russia conspiracy theory, and my thought, Tom Fitton, is this is my working theory at the time, is that the media doesn't really care if it's true or not, because they simply want to preoccupy people like you and me and the president with uh, defending the administration rather than having them focus on a forward agenda where they're cutting taxes, where they're building a border wall, where they're repealing Obamacare, where they're defeating ISIS, where they're ramping up uh, support for law enforcement, all the things the president campaigned on, uh, changing trade deals. It's a, that's all stuff that is on the back burner now because we're constantly in scandal mode, and that's a win-win for them. Well, yes. And, uh, you know, getting back to this Comey memo, uh, Alex, you know, we had sued for records about the Flynn investigation. Uh, You know, we haven't gotten anything from the FBI. This is the sort of document we should have gotten. Uh, Yeah, you have to wonder whether these documents are being correctly characterized, whether the interpretation of the documents is as clear cut as is being suggested by the New York Times and the other media, uh, we can't presume that. We saw that with the Sally Yates issue. We saw that with the General Flynn issue, just generally, uh, that, uh, you know, there's been the suggestion that uh, the documents show, the investigation uh, shows this or that, when, in fact, actually that's not necessarily the case. Uh, You know, I'm not sure that General Flynn did anything wrong. Uh, I'm not even sure if there was a criminal investigation uh, at the time when uh, President Trump was talking to uh, Comey, as alleged. Um, uh, you know, it's not clear at all that the sort of givens that are being assumed by the media are accurate. That's Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. So the the other question I have for you, and I know you're someone who gets uh, documents, you're able to FOIA documents and and get a lot of information that others are not don't have the wherewithal to get. It's, if James Co- if James Comey is writing memos about his conversations with President Trump on Mike Flynn, uh, what else is there that's out there that you could that are potentially uh, the conversations with the Clintons? It's conversations with Obama. Is there anything out there that you feel like you might be able to get to at this point in time? Now that there he's leaking documents that are detrimental to Trump. Yeah, where are all the Comey memos? I think uh, I, if Mr. Comey's habits are to be believed, uh, he wrote memos about all of his interactions with the president and high-level officials, and uh, I think all these memos ought to be made public if they're out there. Uh, who had access to these memos? Were these memos, for instance, that he wrote about supposedly his meetings with, General, uh, with the president? Were they part of the FBI investigative file? Did someone go in and leak information from that investigative file? Um, where else, where else are these records? Um, are they part of sort of criminal files that normally people can't see? It raises questions as about uh, how and why they were leaked and and uh, frankly how uh, they were characterized. I, I think everyone needs to keep their powder dry and uh, make sure that they see any of these memos uh, so they get a, a better feel for what actually was said and uh, better context. And the last question for you today, judicialwatch.org, by the way, is the website if you want to support what Tom Fitton and his great crew does. What do you make of all these Republicans piling on, even calling for investigations, special prosecutors? They're throwing in on this. This would completely upend any uh, Republican agenda, uh, but they feel like that they, they need to kowtow to the pressure from the establishment press. What do you make of all this, Tom Fitton? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily opposed to a special investigation as long as it's competent and uh, really is focused on the right issues, whether or not um, the 
Uh, Trump, the incoming Trump team was surveilled, uh, had names um, illicitly unmasked, and you know whether classified information was improperly leaked by the Obama administration or uh, people close to the Obama administration. There is, again, no evidence that President Trump did anything wrong. Uh, so I don't know what the investigation is going to be. Uh, do we need a criminal investigation as was to what Trump told Comey and what Comey understood Mr. Trump told him? I don't, I don't really think we're there yet. And starts screaming about independent counsels, independent prosecutors, uh, to me, is just uh, silly hyperventilating. Thanks, Tom Fitton. Appreciate it. Hope you join us soon on Breitbart News Daily and keep up the good work. Daily and keep up the good work.